I have received many complaints about this game by my viewers telling me to make a troubleshooting video on how to make it playable on a desktop computer as this is meant to be played using a racing setup. So you start up a test match, find out what is not working as it should, note down the points, or just keep in mind and open up the settings. To open the settings, press escape key on your keyboard and go to options. In options menu, you should head into gameplay if the car is not moving. Now go to assists and make all of the options to automatic. This should make your car move now. Make throttle control, anti-lock brakes, and stability control to medium or high for more assisted driving and control over your car. Press R to save or press escape and enter to save and go back. Now, check your key bindings for a clear idea of what to press to make the car move. Come to controls and under basic steering and bindings, Go to keyboard because that's what you are using. Read the list and try to understand the controls. Now that you have enabled those assists beforehand, driving would be simple as driving in GTA. After checking and reading like you have an exam tomorrow, test if it's working. You can go forward by pressing W, backward by pressing S, left and right by A and D respectively, and handbrake by pressing space. Change camera or point of view by pressing C. Figure out the rest of the controls by storming through the settings. If this troubleshooting tutorial doesn't fix your issue, reset your settings to default and try changing the options as you see fit. If that doesn't fix your issue, you may delete the game, save those disk space, and watch some poor Porsche video, real Porsche racing videos online. Or you can buy a racing setup or a real car and drive by following the traffic rules. It's all up to you like the video, and subscribe to the channel before my car crashes and the video ends. See you again. Stay safe and healthy.